The Ahsoka Disney Plus TV show sadly rewrote the mystical realm known as the World Between Worlds. But this change was set up five years ago. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and keep watching for more details. Ahsoka's journey in the Disney Plus show allowed her to confront her personal trauma and relationship with Anakin, leading to her transformation. The world between worlds in Ahsoka had different implications compared to its portrayal in Star Wars Rebels, with Anakin's appearance showing his control over this dimension. Ahsoka's experience in the world between worlds parallels Darth Vader's mystical journey in the comics, both leading to a transformative realization of their true selves. Ahsoka made a subtle change to the Force Virgins, known as the World Between Worlds, one subtly set up five years ago. The Ahsoka Disney Plus TV show was, at heart, a personal journey for Anakin Skywalker's Padawan. Ahsoka Tano had to face her own personal trauma, including her relationship with Anakin. This trauma was the real reason she had held back from training Sabine Wren, her Mandalorian Padawan. This culminated in Ahsoka Episode 5, something of a bottle episode in which Ahsoka entered the mysterious dimension known as the World Between Worlds. First introduced in Star Wars Rebels back in 2018, the World Between Worlds is a place Ahsoka has visited before when Ezra Bridger used it to save her life from Darth Vader. But in Ahsoka, the world between worlds was subtly rewritten. In Star Wars Rebels, the world between worlds was portrayed as a vast, empty space filled with portals, potential gateways to the past. This served as something of a plot device to help Ezra Bridger face his grief, as well as continue his path as a Jedi. Ezra was initially tempted to try to use the power he gained from the world between worlds to save his mentor, Canon Jarrus, but he recognized this was impossible. Instead, that power was used to selflessly save someone else. Ahsoka Episode 5 used the world between worlds in a very different way. This time, Ahsoka was transported to the world between worlds after she was almost killed by Dark Jetty Balin Skull. Ezra encountered nobody in the world between worlds, at least not until he rescued Ahsoka, and Palpatine subsequently forced his way in. Ahsoka, however, was visited by Anakin, who vowed to finish her training. He guided her through various memories of the Clone Wars. As Lucasfilm's Dave Filoni explained in an interview with Dagobah Dispatch, this was about Ahsoka's need to face her past and so transform her for the future. The way I think about that as a cinematic device and a way to tell the story of the Clone Wars without you having to watch the entire Clone Wars. When I did it for Rebels, it was really for a very different purpose. It was for Ezra to relive his experience of his mentor dying and to kind of bring Ahsoka into that story in a nice way and have him do something selfless for somebody else, which was just as valuable, if not more than doing it, for what he wanted it to be, which is save his master. In this story, knowing that I had that kind of device, I wanted to use it as the transition point between Ahsoka before and Ahsoka after. I made that a real change in her, and have her actually confront Anakin, and the question that she would have about him that he would become Darth Vader. The change was purely for story purposes, and it suggested a being like Anakin can have tremendous control over the world between worlds. This seems unprecedented based on everything seen of the world between worlds on screen, but it actually harkens back to a plot from the comics, one that featured Darth Vader himself. This story was told in Charles Soule and Giuseppe Camuncoli's Darth Vader No. 25. Soule's Darth Vader series follows Darth Vader in the years, immediately following his transformation, and the final arc deals with the construction of his dark side castle on Mustafar. After the castle is completed, Vader attempts to use a virgins to go into the Force in an attempt to resurrect his dead wife, Padme Amidala. 
After entering the Force like this, Vader experiences a Force vision much like the one Ahsoka experiences, visiting locations and memories from his past. Much like Ahsoka's experience, this is transformative for Anakin as he ceases memories, but with his present consciousness.